were you thinking of those, you know, when I play like a weird, you're gonna weird harmonic, and usually it's just like a, well, I see it as a geometric. E, e seven sharp nine, right? So, what would you do? <laughs> uh, what would I do? Well, if I saw, I, I'm thinking all it depends on what's yeah. happening with the chord. If the chord yeah. is vamping on E, that's one thing. If it's resolving, that's something else, you know? Let's say we go from, from E7 to A minor, so. Right, so then you have a lot of choices. The choice yeah. they teach you in school, of course, is, harm, is melodic minor yeah. up the half step. That's one. Sometimes you can just think the yeah. some blues. Yeah. Uh, diminished. Uh -huh. uh, right. Uh -huh. um, sometimes you can think. Sometimes I like to just go down a whole step from the root oh, of E okay. and play Dorian. Oh, there you go. Because it doesn't give you the major third, but yeah. gives you a sus four, gives you kind of yeah. a, a Phrygian sound. But yeah, it sounds Phrygian. kind of pretty. So it's like a. There you go. Um, uh, sorry, that was not right. Just gives you a different, a different uh, geometry of the of the uh, yeah. fre of the fretboard. And the secret, of course, is resolving correctly, resolving to the new chord. Yeah. That's what a lot of students do too. They learn. They le it's like a diver doing a, a jump off a diving board at the Olympics. You know, they do this fancy dive, yeah. and then they land on their stomach. You know, and yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They get like really low ratings. But so it's all about how you resolve all that stuff. You know, because everybody has a different take on it. And actually, it's refreshing to me not to hear the total 100% jazz in melodic minor, everything altered on every scale. Because to me, the flat. The flat five never sounded that great to me on the altered scale, but yeah. the sus four sounds kind of sweet sometimes when you hear like an altered. Oh, yeah. It's kind of a nice sound, or. Oh, is a, yeah, is yeah, a nicer yeah. sound with a natural six as yeah. opposed to yeah. everything being altered. Yeah. That's why I, the other day we were learning a Beatles song. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Right? And when he goes to the A chord, he goes. Now that chord sounds cool because of what's not in it. Yeah. You know, there's not. Yeah. It's not your typical, you know, jazz uh, voicing. So anything that's different like that, there's there's so many options with the altered chord or ways yeah. to go, and people forget because they go to music school. And the music school says you, if you want to make an A on this test, you better play this melodic yeah. minor up a half step, <laughs> and then you end up sounding like every other, you know, asshole jazz wannabe in the world. Sorry, but uh, you know, there's just so many different ways to to yeah. to do things these days. I think you know. To be creative, but in, but in the end, you know, you always resort to you know good old blues or you know uh, the, the stuff that people understand. More, yeah, I right? mean, like if I said if I if I if I played, if my mom was in the audience and I played yeah. and I played, <laughs> or something like that, she'd go, "Where did we go wrong?" You know, she'd go, "What did we do, honey? We fucked up." You know, but if I play, you know, she'd go, "Woo, that's yeah, my boy! Give me course. another beer." Yeah, you know, she would, she would, she would understand what that is. You know. Thank you.